Hi, it's Rob. <laughs> and the dogs. And a big box. You wanna know what's inside the big box? So do I. We're gonna open it. This is a package which I received from Area 13 Bikes. Used to be Bolton. It's an electric bike. It's an e-bike. I finally ordered one. I've been wanting to do this for a very long time. And I was finally, with my tax return this year, able to spend the money on one of these and get it in my hot little, well, garage, I suppose. There are a number of things in here. <clears throat> Ooh, inner tubes. Inner tubes. All right, I am going to see if there's a better way of opening this, like uh, pulling the box up from the bottom. Now, I did spend quite a bit of time researching e-bikes uh, before making this purchase. Like I said, I've been looking at them for a couple years. Uh, a lot of the things that I found out uh, came from a YouTube channel called Area 13. Area 13 is um, what Bolton Bikes used to be. They've rebranded, changed their name. And uh, the advice has been stellar. Um, there are specific things that I was looking for in a bike. One of them was to have a non-proprietary battery. I've seen too many proprietary battery packs where you have to purchase a battery pack from the manufacturer and they're ridiculously expensive. This way, if I want to, I can plug my own battery packs into it and get extended range. One of the uh, more intriguing things that I found is the instruction booklet. It's electronic. And right now it's charging. <laughs> so you have to charge up the manual <laughs> before uh, you get the instructions on how to assemble it. So this is gonna take a little while. Um, I'll see you guys when it's done. The front fender, we'll set this aside for a little bit later. This you may need while setting up your bike. This is the... So the front brake caliper has a spacer that comes out.
That was a right pain in the ass. Uh, some installation notes. The front, when it comes, when you take the bolt off, there's a washer on the front. Don't use the washer to put this together because with the thickness of the washer and the light, the, the uh, bolt won't go in. Use it on the back. Uh, this was very difficult. This took probably the most time out of anything. I mean, I've been wrestling with this for probably, I don't know, over half an hour trying to get everything to fit just right. And uh, also, I used a bungee cord to pull these cables up out of the way to get better access to that back bolt. Battery is fully charged. So, let she slide in. Yeah, it kind of looks like it. Cool. That's a really, really easily installed battery. I like that. Turn the battery on. And the screen is on. <laughs> Oh yeah, she's pretty. Well, I believe it is together. I need to go through and do a quick making sure that all the nuts are, are all the bolts are tightened uh, and everything's on, but uh, it is, I believe, ready to go. I'm not gonna start and take it out because it's kind of late at night. It's after nine o'clock and I really don't want to go riding at night for the first time on this bike. Maybe take it out tomorrow. We'll see. I'll get some video of that, but uh, for right now, we got it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 